Hello, welcome back. So in this tutorial we're going to add some platforms and we're going to learn how to create some gravity and how to do jumps. So let's get cracking. So the first thing I'm going to do is import my sprite sheet as I did before. Now when you do this you'll need to import first your um, sprite sheet for all of your platforms that you might use and then cut them out like I've shown you in a previous tutorial. Uh, but just so I can crack on with teaching you some new things I'm going to um, open up one I've already done but in your case you'll obviously need to go through the same procedure you did with your initial with your character to open up a sprite sheet and then delete the backgrounds as I've previously shown you to end up with a clean um, platform. So here's my pre cutout version and at the moment nothing really happens you know I'm just uh, there's no gravity I can run along but look I can run right off the end and kind of hang in space so we need to sort that out. So pretty straightforward to do we're going to go to um, the when green flag clicked again just as we did with our previous box just to make sure it's activated and we need a forever block because we need to always check you know is our character touching this or not. Next we need an if to check if he's actually you know on the platform or not and we can do something quite clever here we can say if he's not touching the platform so if he's not and then we need touching so that comes under sensing so if he's not touching color this is a really handy block of code um, to use now what we can do next is we can click in here where the color is and you'll see there's this little sort of dropper symbol if we click on that we can come over here and we can actually click to select the green of the platform. So now we've got, if he's not touching the green of the platform, well, we need something to happen. Um, because we want some gravity, we can say, well, let's change the Y um, position of our sprite by minus 10. So what will happen if we do that, he'll constantly fall unless he's touching the color green. So I click on that you can now see that he's running along he's now anchored to the platform but if I run off the end of it whoop, he's gone so we now have some gravity so if I restart we put him back there we very simply in a couple of blocks got ourselves some working gravity and whoops there he goes again handy right so that's great but we also need to get our character jumping this is slightly more complex but not too much there's very easy ways to get him to jump, but what we want is something realistic because we don't want him air jumping. We don't want to be able to press the space key and he jumps even if he's in midair. So, as always, we'll start off with the when green flag clicked and the forever block because we need to be forever checking um, what's going on. So we get the forever block. Next, we're going to make a variable. So we can come down here and we can click on make a variable and we're going to name this yvel now that's short for y velocity and it's going to be for this sprite only so we click on ok and there we have it so we've now got our y velocity um, I actually already made one of these earlier so it gave me that little message you saw pop up briefly so we've got our y velocity variable made now what we want to do is set that to an initial value so we grab this set block here and drop it in here and we're going to set we click in here with our y velocity variable um, initially to 20 so that gives it like an initial value then we're going to use an if block just like we have previously and we want to check if um, the space key is pressed in this case. So we're going to go to sensing and get if key pressed, key space key. Now we want to check a couple of things here. We want to check is the jump button pressed, but we also want to check he's also touching a block. Because if he's not touching the platform, we don't want him to jump. So we've got two conditions to check here. So it's a very useful bit of logic. We can use what's called the AND operator. So if I drop this in here, we can now check if the space key is pressed and he is touching the right color, e.g. the block, we can then um, get him to jump. So we can put that in there as well. Click in there, click on the eyedropper again, and make sure we got the color green. So now we've got this set up and ready to go. So the next thing we're going to use is a repeat block. 
So repeat 10. And we're going to now change y by this um, value of 20 10 times, but only if he's touching the color green. So we're going to go up to the motion block and we go change y by, and this is clever, we can now go to the variables block and select this little one here, y velocity. There we go. So now what's going on here is we set an initial value of 20, we check if the space key is pressed and he's standing on a platform, 10 times we change y by the y velocity. So this means it'll go up, but it will stop after a while because we're only repeating it 10 times and then it'll come back down again as gravity takes effect. Here we go. So now you've learned how to do jumping and you've got gravity as well. So we can run around and we can jump realistically. So yep, we're getting there. We'll move on now to creating some more platforms and some more obstacles in our next tutorial. Thanks for listening and I'll catch you next time. Bye for now.